Did Peter Pettigrew plan to abandon Lord Voldemort? Peter Pettigrew, aka Wormtail, is best known as the person who betrayed the Potters to Lord Voldemort, killed several Muggles by causing an explosion, while simultaneously framing Sirius Black for the crime and betrayal of the Potters also. Wormtail had no sense of the word loyalty. His only concern was his safety and protection. He'd do whatever is necessary to secure his well-being, and in joining Lord Voldemort, who really was immensely powerful and almost unstoppable at this point, seemed the best bet for Peter. But in reality for Wormtail, he was simply terrified of being on the end of Voldemort's wand. Now, although he was timid and weak, he wasn't stupid. He was quite clever and a very good opportunist. He remained a rat without changing back to human form for a reason, and that was to wait for a sign of Voldemort's return. But unfortunately for Peter, he was forced to relinquish his Animagus form earlier than he planned, and although he did return to the Dark Lord out of fear, what surprised him was just how weak his master was. And bear in mind that Pettigrew was only concerned with being on the strongest side. So did he plan on abandoning the Dark Lord? Wormtail wanted to be protected, not to be the one doing the protecting. The Dark Lord was very vulnerable and relied heavily on Wormtail to even survive the day. Pettigrew helped him create his rudimentary body and milked venom from Nagini on a daily basis in order to sustain him. Yet even the sight of Voldemort still made him shudder with fear, and being in the Dark Lord's presence was nerve-wracking for Pettigrew. He didn't like being in fear of someone who couldn't even protect him, and Voldemort was well aware of this. Lord Voldemort summarises his low regard of Peter when he says, Your devotion is nothing more than cowardice. You would not be here if you had anywhere else to go. Pettigrew tried to convince Voldemort to use another wizard other than Harry, and even offered to capture any wizard the Dark Lord acquired, if only he were permitted to leave for a few days. Voldemort viewed this as a sign of regret upon Pettigrew's betrayal of the Potters by trying to exclude Harry, and a further sign of the latter's intent for desertion. He knew he could not survive without him, and would not let his servant leave. And I believe it was Pettigrew's intention to abandon the Dark Lord, as he knew that regaining his full strength and full bodily form was proving more and more difficult the longer they waited to capture Harry Potter. However, when Pettigrew seen that even if he did abandon the Dark Lord, he still had some concerns. The first, where would he go? And to who? Everyone thought he was dead, and if it was made public knowledge that he did survive, it would switch the attention to Pettigrew himself, which was the last thing he wanted. And the second concern was, what if Peter abandoned the Dark Lord, left him for dead, and fled the country, only for Voldemort to return to full power regardless? He would hunt Peter down and kill him for his desertion. So, after weighing everything up, even though Pettigrew did want to abandon his master, he preferred to live in fear on the wrong side. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone. Just to remind you this is just my own opinion. If you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you feel my channel deserves it then make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to watch any of the latest videos they are up top and the theories and facts are down below. Thank you very much again for watching and have a great day.